Okay guys, so this is the, the Panata bicep curl. It's an independent movement, which means that the left arm and the right arm will move independently from each other. It's effectively a preacher curl, but plate loaded and independent. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, the thing you notice on this actually, is that the handles can twist, which is fantastic to get the contraction at the top of the bicep. So first thing I'm gonna do, I wanna make sure that the top of my armpit is just slightly off that pad there. So if you can see, as I bring that down, there's a slight gap. Now I'm gonna take hold of the handle and I'm gonna let my wrist drop back ever so slightly. A lot of people do that to try and get a contraction. You can really get a, a better squeeze and a better contraction by just slightly letting your wrist drop back over. Once we do that, we'll take it to full extension and then watch my head position and watch my elbow position and my hand position on this. As I curl that up, I'm lifting it so the bottom part of my elbow comes off and at the same point, I'm twisting my pinky in to get that squeeze onto my bicep. As I return, it goes back down, I get a full stretch, I bring it back up again, and I squeeze, see? <clears throat> now watch again, full stretch, up, comes off, <clears throat> and twist that pinky in. It's a fantastic movement, and we're gonna do the same with our left arm now. So, first thing, gap between my armpit and the top of the preacher, full extension, wrist drop back ever so slightly. As I curl it up, head goes down, lift that up, and twist my pinky in. You really need to make sure that that's cool in there. What I like to do is I like to imagine that there's a tennis ball or an egg in between there. And as I'm bringing that up, I'm trying to pop that tennis ball or crack that egg. Come on, come on up. <clears throat> 